Hi and welcome back to Mem Tips and Tricks. In the last episode we went through the Windows 10 upgrade to Windows 11 and we were using Windows Update for Business. Now in every cloud environment we should have some place where we can log all of the events of our systems. Now that system could be Log Analytics Workspace we are not going to go through all of Log Analytics uh, today, but we are going to look at one of the solutions called Update Compliance. Now, Update Compliance is a way to get telemetry from your device and actually show you a lot of data what goes on in your environment. So in this video, I'll give you five reasons why I should use Update Compliance. Welcome. So I want to ask you a question. Are you using log analytics or update compliance already? Please comment below and, and tell me why you are using uh, that. To start leverage update compliance, we should have a subscription we should have a resource group and we should have a log analytic workspace. Now in this demo I am going to show you how to get the update compliance and how to configure devices so you get the telemetry that you want and how you can use the new settings catalog in the 2111 where all the new telemetry settings uh, came. So let's uh, dive into the console. We will start by going to the port of Azure. Then we will go to the search and search for update compliance. We find it here at the marketplace. Let's click on it. And here we are going to put in a subscription. We don't have any subscription already. We should uh, create a such before. If we don't have a resource group, we can actually create one. And last, we need the Azure Log Analytics workspace. I have a resource group already I'm going to use, and I have a Log Analytics workspace solution. Let's click Next and Create. Now our update compliance is going to deploy into our Lock Analytics workspace and it was success. Let's go back to the Azure portal, go to the Lock Analytics workspace. Now let's have a look at the solution. As you can see, I have only already my Windows Service Update Insights. Be aware that when you set this up for the first time, there can actually be some waiting time here. So you might not see the same as I do because devices need to upload their log files before you can actually use the solution. Now, once your devices has been uploading logs, you will have this in interface like I do, and you will be able to use the update compliance. Now we need to look at what the prerequisites for update compliance are. Go to Google and update compliance. Take the first hit here and uh, first we are saying here that we need a update compliance processing parameter to enroll into update compliance and we need to configure this policy prior to January 3rd, 31st, 2022. So we have to remember that. We also need a compatible operating system. We already do have that. I have only Windows 10 and Windows 11 devices. We need a compatible Windows Client Servicing Channel. I do have that as well. 
general available channel. We also need uh, diagnostic data requirements. And here we can um, have the required level, but it's also say that some queries in update compliance require devices to send diagnostic data at a optional level, which were the full as previously. Now the new name is optional. Then it needs to be able to transmission data and for the device to be able to contact endpoints, we need to make sure that our URLs are able to actually be accessed. And we're going to look into that. So let's go to that link and go to the required endpoints. Now we have all these endpoints that our device should be able to communicate with in order to have the telemetry update to Microsoft. Okay, so now we know what we need to do. If we go back once and go up to here where we have add update compliance to Azure subscription that we already did. But one thing to read here is although an Azure subscription is required, you won't be charged for ingestions of update compliance data. So that's the one reason for having update compliance. It's free. So you need to have a compatible log analytics region, which is specified in here. And you need to insert a commercial ID to your devices so they know where to upload this telemetry. And lastly, we have to put all these policies to our devices and it can take up to 72 hours before we see anything in the Lock Analytics workspace. Nice. So we configured the update compliance and um, we know now what we need to set up in Intune and telemetry that needs to go to our devices. So now we just need to configure these devices using Intune to get the telemetry into the update compliance or the log analytics workspace. Let's uh, see how that's done. All right, let's go to Intune or the Endpoint Manager portal. So the first thing we will do is going to the devices, to Windows, and we are going to Configuration Profiles. Here we're going to add a new profile, Windows 10 and later, and we're going to use the Settings Catalog. Here we're going to provide it with a good naming standard. My policy can work on Windows 10 and 11. I want to call it telemetry data and I want it to go to devices. Next, I choose whether I want or which policies I'm going to add to this. And one of these are called data collection. And let's hit the search button for that. Data collection and preview builds. Yes, that's one of those. And this is where we configure the commercial ID. And now we want to have allow device naming or name. Go to the system. And at that one, we want to allow telemetry. That's the system as well. We have one for users and we have one for the device. Then we're going to have allow update compliance. And I'm going to tell you what the settings will do for us later. 
configure telemetry opt that we are also going to leverage and we're going to put both of these permission into our device and once we are here already let's put allow Windows Update for Business Cloud Processing in here as well it's not directly tied to these telemetry data but once we use the feature update where we want to deploy features in a uh, certain amount of, of time and distribute the workload across devices we need that particular setting so now we can close that and we're going to enable the commercial id but how do we retrieve that we need to go to our solution and we click on our solution and we click on our windows updates we click on update compliance settings now we have the com commercial id here we copy that and we put it into the profile now allow device name to send to be sent in windows diagnostic this is simply if our device name can be sent to update compliance or not we want that allow telemetry and the dark set basic was fine but some of the queries that we could run uh, needed the full so we are going to use that allow update compliance processing now we need to enable that in order for update compliance to actually um, use our data and now the allow windows update cloud processing was the one i told you about before it makes sense to put it in the same policy so it, that's why it's here it's not related to or direct directly related to update compliance configure telemetry opt-in change notification uh, disable that we don't want any notifications or anything about that and we also want to disable the settings ux so that the users cannot disable our telemetry settings now we want to assign it and we do that to all devices the virtual group we have here for optimal performance and to get all our devices and create that now it's just wait it out and make sure that our device is getting our telemetry settings we can look at our device we can sync it etc we could just wait and if we wait some time we can go into our policy and because we are using the settings catalog we are getting better reporting so this is uh, almost instant reporting live reporting so let's click on the view reports and let's look at one of the one of our devices now we can see all the telemetry data that i added to my device is actually successful now i had a device where i had error on allow update compliance allow Windows update processing and also the configure commercial id I figured out that it was because of the current device was on a Windows level that didn't support the um, settings catalog setting coming from here and down to the device. So if you experience errors on this, you would have to upgrade your device with the latest cumulative update from either September or November you get a lot of ADMX ingestions so you are able to actually successfully get this data to your device if you want to look at your device whether you are um, able to have it or not we could go to HK local machine software Microsoft policy manager and here we could go to the default and here you see all the ADMX templates that are ingested to this device and every setting here is able to be set from our MDM system you know in tune now having all the 
settings in place. We just need our devices to actually upload the data to Update Compliance or our Log Analytics workspace. So we'll need to wait for that, of course. But if you wait, you will see something like this data. And what can we get from here? Well, we can provide detailed deployment monitoring for Windows client features and quality updates. We can report when devices need attention due to issues related to update deployments. We can also show uh, bandwidth usage and savings for devices that are configured using delivery optimization. And we can provide all of the above data in Log Analytics, which affords additional querying and ex export capabilities. So it's only a matter of your own imagination and make a lot of KQLs here. So I want to give you an example. Uh, if I just run this, I'm going to have a lot of data here. You can actually see what goes on. I have quality updates. You can see my OS revision number, etc., etc., etc. So nothing in here that I couldn't see in Intune actually. So, what could I do to actually get better data inside Log Analytics? Well, we could go to the MS Endpoint sites and search for the community edition of this Windows Update Compliance Workbook. Now, Maurice, Jan and Sandy has been doing a lot of good things here. And to quickly set this up, we could simply uh, go to the Update Compliance Community Edition JSON file, click on the raw, copy that, and go back to the Log Analytics workspace and click Workbooks. And here we click new and click on the advanced view and paste in the JSON file. Now here in the top, you can just change the picture if we don't like the MS Endpoint logo. I do, so uh, let's just click apply to that. And if we save it, we need to be able to see the subscription, the resource group and the location. So let's just make this a demo compliance and save it. So in a second, it's saved. Now we can actually use it. So here we get in, in a fine overview of our devices. We have the detailed by device and we can change last days, time range, etc., etc., etc. And it's just, uh, go play. And that's it. Five good reasons to use Update Compliance. I hope you liked the video. Like, subscribe, comment, do something if you like the content. See ya.